Peace, family. So I want to talk a little bit about the power of words, right? I'm going to share a little story with you guys. Um, when I was a baby, you guys know I always talk about my grandmother, right? Like how she was a big role in my life and my spiritual journey. Um, very powerful woman. When I was a baby, my grandmother was a Christian, right? And um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but some in some churches, they will create these scrolls and you can put any type of wording that you want on a scroll and you can hang it up on a wall. It could be a prayer, a psalm or a saying, right? So my grandmother, when I was a baby, she went to the church and she made this scroll made that says, yes, Shatavia will succeed, right? And she hung it up in the room wherever I slept as a baby and she kept it up on that wall, like even as I grew up, because every day I saw it. And so, you know, it's like she spoke that into existence. And the reason why I'm speaking about this is because a lot of the times we're not aware of the words that we say to ourselves. We're not aware of the hateful things that we say or the, the knowledge or the words or the information that we consume daily. And we have to be conscious and ask ourselves, you know, are we taking in and consuming information and words of affirmation that are empowering to us? Or are we taking in information and consuming information and, and energy that is belittling us, that is hurting us, that is just making us feel worse about ourselves? The power of words and not just saying them, but actually seeing them every day. This is why a lot of the times I tell a lot of my clients, like, you know, create a vision board. Um, if you don't have a vision board, create like um, write on a piece of paper or a sticky note and put it up somewhere where you see it every day and make sure that, you know, it's, it's an affirmative statement like, yes, today is a good day. Yes, I'm going to get that promotion. Yes. Or you can say, yes, that promotion's already mine. Um, yes, I am destined for good health and success. And when you have those words up and you have it around you, it's so important why you have constant reminders in your, your living space of who you want to be, your goals, whatever it is that you're trying to overcome. Because we live in a society now where we have social media and our attention span is not the same as it used to be 10, 20 years ago, right? Um, we're constantly bombarded with so much information, so much news, so many different um, gurus and sayings and people telling us how to live our lives where we actually forgot what, what it is that we want right and maybe anybody that's listening or watching this right now can relate but sometimes you know it can be a challenge to be a unique individual when you're in a world full of copycats and trend trend followers right um when you constantly are being bombarded with people telling you how to be in a relationship how to love yourself how you need to look how you need to dress how you need to behave um what's what's acceptable what's not and we tend to lose our identity. We tend to lose and we forget like, what is it that we truly wanted? Why did we even set on this journey? Everybody is created uniquely and everybody has a purpose. And you know, sometimes when people are blessed with certain gifts, right? There's some people who are meant to be leaders. There's some people who are meant to be healers. There's some people who are meant to inspire, to teach, to do these great, amazing things. And sometimes, you know, social media can get in your head and make you feel like you're not good enough. It can make you feel like, you know, you don't deserve that promotion. You don't deserve that business. You don't deserve that raise. You don't deserve all of these good things happening to you because in American society, it's typically okay to um, depreciate yourself, right? Like, think about it. Have any type of conversation with a person and make a joke at your own expense and people laugh. But if you go into a conversation and, you know, and you talk about, like, your successes, your achievements, how proud you are of yourself, how well you're doing, analyze the room, right? See if you get the same the same vibe, the same laughter and good energy and good vibes like given to you as though you depreciate yourself and it's a little sad because i think that everybody should be confident in who they are everybody should be comfortable in being their unique self 
And the first step in doing that is to constantly tell yourself who it is you are, constantly reminding yourself because it's so easy to get lost in this world of social media. D Gold says, you, the UK too. Um, so I'm just putting out this video today as just some inspiration for anybody who needs it. If you're feeling like you're lost, if you're feeling like you're trying to find yourself um, or reinvent yourself or just really figuring out who you are, what do you want? It's okay to be in that space because remember, we as human beings, we are constantly evolving. We are constantly growing. We are constantly changing. And if you're the same exact person that you was 10 or 20 years ago, then there's something wrong with that. People like to put human beings into boxes because, you know, it's easier to comprehend something that way. People like to have control and people can only control things that they understand. This is why people fear things that are not meant to be fully understood, like spirituality, the occult, metaphysics, things that are supernatural. People fear those things because humans cannot control them. And so when you put yourself into a box that people made for you, you're literally a slave to them because now you've limited yourself and your true potential to what people want you to be or what they expect you to be. The truth of the matter is there is no particular time where there is no nothing set in stone that says, well, you know, if you're this age, you have to have these accomplishments. Or if, you know, um, if you're a woman, then you have to fit these roles. If you're a man, you have to do these things. Um, and sometimes we just have to take a step back and ask ourselves, who made these rules? And who made these rules and who were the people that just sat around a big table and said, you know what? Yeah, let's just make this the norm. Let's make this the thing. It only becomes your norm once you accept it. You feel me? And you as a human being, as an individual, as a unique conscious being, have the right to accept or reject whatever it is that you want in your reality. Nobody can tell you how to live your life. No influencer, no, no motivational speaker, no guru can tell you what's right or wrong. These people can set examples and give you ideas of what could possibly fit for your reality. But if it doesn't fit for you, let it go. It's okay. It's okay to be in a space of uncomfortability. It's okay to be in a space where you don't know where you're going. Um, trust this process. Understand that everything that you go through, every challenge that you face is only preparing you for the next step in your journey. Everything happens for a reason. There are no mistakes. There are no coincidences. So as long as you keep that in your mind, you'll be okay. Write those positive affirmations. Say your prayers and mantras every day. And it's not that you're praying to a being outside of yourself. When we pray and we say affirmations, what we're doing is we're programming our mind to we're programming our mind to do what it is that we want it to do. When you're not constantly programming your own self, guess what happens? You get programmed by social media, you get programmed by TV, you get programmed by propaganda. You get bombarded with all this other information. So it is your obligation to be in control of what it is that you believe and what's true for you by constantly reminding your mind and programming your mind of what is true and what fits for you. So with that being said, family, I hope that this message has helped you today. And if it did, let me know in the comments. Give me a heart or a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you, family. Happy Friday. Peace.